What's up guys? So, this is my little baby, my little man, um, Cubby. His name is Cubby. Just want to introduce you guys to him. I know I put him a lot on, on Periscope and, uh, and on Snap. So, anyways, today we're going to be doing uh, some exercises, some of my favorite exercises for the booty. I know everybody hears about squats, squats, squats uh, being the best form of exercises for the booty, but believe it or not, it's not just squats. Squats are great for mass building, but for toning the area and really isolating the different angles of the glutes, it's important to do other type of exercises for that area. I really like the B-Force bands because uh, they allow you to do exercises uh, unilateral where you have to focus a lot on core and stability, uh, coordination, and then on top of that, you are using resistance. The ankle weights, I'm oh, sorry, the ankle straps, the ankle straps. Just because I attach these to the cables at the gym and I do like so many things with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, coming up next all the different things that I do with it. And then um, this is a little device that I like that attaches to the ankle weights and allows you to do lunges, side squats, uh, lateral movements, adding resistance when you step, which is great for adductors and abductors. And then of course the loop bands um, are great uh, for, again, adductors, abductors, and just isolating that little area of the glute on the side that when I lean out and you see pictures that are so impressive. So I wanna discuss before I go into those exercises with you some things about cellulite. You know, the people who follow me that are women know that I have it, every girl has it. You can reduce it with um, diet, eating very clean, not processed foods, not a lot of chemicals in your diet, and drinking tons of water, um, and then of course training that area by reducing the amount of fat that you gain in that area. The only time I'm absolutely cellulite free is when I'm stepping on stage, the week of stepping on stage, because my body fat is so low. I go down to 7% body fat. So that is the only way that I can have those perfect smooth legs that you see in the magazines. But off season, it's impossible year round to be at 7%, 8% body fat. It's not even healthy for you. So you have to understand that it's perfectly normal and fine to have cellulite. You can't go around, oh, I can't wear shorts and I can't wear this sexy thing and I don't want to show. You can't live like that. You've got to do your best with diet, exercise, and then just rock a pair of shorts and be happy and accept your body for the way it is. And I think that's really important for women to know. You can't be hard on yourself. You can't you can't look like that year round. Even the people on the magazines, even us, are still have cellulite. And you'll see some of my videos, you'll see dimples on my booty. And guess what? That is that is what it is. I have it, um, most women have it. So don't stress out, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, do your best through training and exercise, which I'll be showing you next. Some great exercises to reduce the appearance. Um, but overall, love yourself rock a pair of shorts and do your best to accept what you cannot change. So until next time guys, uh, let's go do some booty exercises. What's up YouTubers? Okay, so part one is three exercises with the B-Force bands. I'm doing the hamstring curls with ball and loop bands, four to five sets, 15 to 20 reps. I'm not doing a lot of weight. I was actually two weeks out from a show from, you know, in this video. So I'm very, very lean. And I wasn't trying to do mass building just because I wasn't eating for 
mass building. So this is more of a booty shaping, getting rid of the last little bit of fat behind those legs. This glute raise with ball and ankle straps. Uh, this is a very effective exercise. People look at it and laugh. Oh my goodness, this is, looks so awkward. Well, it does look awkward, but it's very effective. Uh, I think, think of like when you're shooting, the more uncomfortable a pose, the better the pose looks. Well, sometimes the more uncomfortable an exercise is, the better and more effective it is. And this is one that builds the top of the booty. For us girls with natural booties, you wanna build that top, and it's probably one of the last things that do come in, and this exercise helps you build it. So start out with a very, very light weight because it it's hard, and then build more weight as you go. And the very last exercise, is a lateral lunges with loop band. I did four sets of 15 reps and I did two loop bands, a moderate and a light. And I finished this entire workout within 25 to 30 minutes. So it's really great. I can get into the gym and I can get a little bit of blood pumping in that area and burn anywhere from three to 500 calories. Part two, without bands. Uh, this is for those that don't have the bands and still want to get, good, get a good glute workout. I uh, say that three times fast. Uh, Smith Machine Glute Bridges, I did four sets of 15 reps. And I like to work unilateral just because everybody has a stronger side and everybody has a more flexible side. And when you work unilateral or one-legged exercises, you can work on those imbalances in the muscle and get stronger depending on where you need to get stronger. And I'll do that probably every other week. I'll do a whole workout just unilateral. This one's the Bonzu Ball Glute Press. I did four sets of 15 to 20 reps. It looks easy, but it's not. If you want to add weight and you've done this several times, you can put dumbbells behind your knees, clinching them while you raise, or you can add ankle weights to this. You will find that your flexibility, you know, is not as good, but you'll get stronger that way. The next one is the knee tuck glute lifts. Bring the knees in almost like a stretch and then raise the heels to the ceiling. And this one is really great too and you can add those ankle weights. With getting rid of cellulite, there is no such thing as completely getting rid of it. It's a combination of keeping your body fat low, staying away from processed foods and chemical foods, uh, like your saccharins, your splendas, all that type of stuff, even your creamers for coffee and drinking tons of water and that reduces it ladies other than that you know what rock it enjoy what you have look at the positives don't look at what you don't have instead of look at what you do have um and that's it that's what i do that's what i try to do okay guys well thank you so much for listening and liking the video and if you have any questions leave those comments i look forward to seeing you on the next video in the meantime feel free to do some suggestions or comments on my instagram facebook and twitter pages bye